This is Jim Kunkel and welcome to another two minute lesson. Today's lesson is on chronic beryllium disease. Beryllium is a very lightweight, strong, hard metal that's easy to shape. The Department of Energy has used beryllium for a long time because of its many uses in reactors and nuclear weapons. Chronic beryllium disease, or CBD as it's known, is a result of breathing beryllium particles, which can lead to scarring of the lungs. It can be treated if caught early, but it cannot be cured. Sometimes CBD can be fatal. CBD is primarily a lung disease, but it may also affect the lymph nodes, skin, spleen, liver, kidneys, and heart. CBD can take years to develop after the first exposure of beryllium. The average time is 10 to 15 years. Sometimes it takes as long as 30 years to show up. Chronic beryllium disease can cause persistent coughing, shortness of breath, chest pain, fever, night sweats, blood in the spectrum, saliva, mucus, and other discharges that can be coughed up, rapid heartbeat, loss of appetite, and weight loss. Workers in some beryllium producing plants have had an increased rate of lung cancer. Beryllium is classified as a cause of cancer in humans by the International Agency for Research on Cancer and by the American Conference of Governmental Industrial Hygienists. CBD occurs in people who have become allergic or sensitized to beryllium after being exposed. Medical screening programs start by identifying people who are sensitized to beryllium. People who are sensitized then get more exams and tests to see if they have chronic beryllium disease. The first step is a blood test called a BLP test. A small amount of blood will be drawn from a vein in your arm. It will be sent to a laboratory to see if you have become sensitized to beryllium. If the blood test shows that you have been sensitized to beryllium, the blood test will be repeated. If the second test also shows that you've been sensitized, the doctor will recommend additional medical tests. You may also need to have a test to see if you have scarring in your lungs. This has been another two-minute lesson. Please check back every Sunday for a new lesson.